Okay, this is a reaction video from King Wealth. What $500,000 buys you around the U.S.? Well, it really depends on where you live. Like if you live in Los Angeles, it probably might get you half of an In-N-Out burger. But uh, uh, if you live in New York City, you may be able to uh, live, uh, you know, maybe get like a, a one-bedroom, uh, you know, flat or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh and grabs up being facetious here, but what 500,000 buys you around the U.S.? It's your lucky day. Someone just handed you a check for $500,000. Is the check good? It's not going to bounce. We verified that the check and the, fund, the funds in the check are good. There's only one condition. You can only use it to buy real estate in the United States. Well, then uh, I'm not living in California. I'm not living in New York. I'm not living along the eastern seaboard. I might be able to... Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, he probably lived pretty good in the Midwest. You will now discover that 500000 can buy you a wide array of quality depending on just one variable. Where you are. They say real estate is all about location, and as you're about to find out, a couple of miles can mean the difference between affording a luxury mansion or a run-down studio apartment. Yes, that is true. Needs I, you see the, the earlier in the video when I mentioned California. Some help with your purchase. Let's take a look at what half a million will buy you throughout the United States of America. Kicking off our journey, we start with the Big Apple, a city home to over eight million people. Spread. You ain't gonna get much five hundred thousand dollars if you buy. It. You're, you're gonna get a condo, uh, I would imagine. Uh, but it's <laughs> your condo's probably uh, not gonna be much. Not, not, not very big. Not over five boroughs. This is the metropolis that is New York City. As one of the most expensive areas in the country with a median apartment price of over $1 million, finding luxury with your prize is going to be a struggle. The center of the city found here on the island of Manhattan is known as the cultural, financial, media, and entertainment capital of the world. And take that for what it's worth. Apartments in this borough are among the most expensive on earth. For a $500,000 budget, you will struggle to find a livable space, but Brooklyn is just a short 40-minute subway ride away, and this brand new apartment offers us just what we were looking for. Here, you can get a one-bedroom condo that was just built this year. A modern interior featuring heated floors, custom cabinets, and vibrant materials make this place look truly spectacular. On the large, sprawling roof, you will find a 40,000-square-foot garden. A rare city oasis where you can relax in comfort overlooking the Verrazzo Narrows Bridge. This is also where you'll find a children's playground, a basketball court, running track, and some bathing areas. This unit is located within the predominantly residential neighborhood of Diker Heights in the southwest corner of Brooklyn. While it may only be 650 square feet, the vibrant lighting and modern finishes give it the illusion of a much bigger space. From here, a subway ride to Manhattan's Midtown would... Okay, you can you can afford that in Brooklyn, but like I said, you're going to be in Brooklyn. You're not going to be on Manhattan, and he's talk. He's right. You're based on where you where you decide to live. Brooklyn is not as uh, is not a place uh, you want to visit. Well, we, I think I back. Brooklyn isn't too bad, but yeah, this is a little bit of a different animal. But five hundred thousand dollars is not going to get you good over in Chelsea. It will take you over one hour. You may think that 500000 would get you more bang for your buck, but in cities like New York, with 8 million people crammed into this tiny space, the average cost of residential real estate... Yeah, Manhattan real estate is an average of $1,773 per square foot. According to Neighborhood X, the most expensive area on a per square foot basis is San Francisco. Again, not surprising, which is averages $900 uh, uh, to per square foot. That's followed by Boston, 586, Washington, D.C., 515, and Miami Beach, $504. So uh, taking away San Francisco right there, uh, it's three times more expensive to live in D.C., in Boston, uh, D.C., and uh, Miami. Real estate is going to run you close to $1,800. And you don't even have the best weather in New York City either. Dollars a square foot. But if you're looking to trade the big city life for the beach, you may be able to get a much better deal in sunny Miami. This sounds like a little bit better. I, I mean, if I had $500,000 and I was going to live somewhere, I don't think I'd ever go to New York City. Situated in what is known as the city's financial center, Brickle is where you'll find glittering business towers, luxury condos, and rooftop bars that overlook beautiful Biscayne. Notice you're not talking about uh, 
moving out to the suburbs and getting a, 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 a mansion or something like that on five hundred thousand dollars. There, well, we're obviously we're talking about living in the city here, and so we're talking about condos. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see what you get, happens when you get out to California. Main Bay for half a million. It's here on top of Brickell City Center, where you'll find this one bedroom, one point five bath luxury condo. Walk through one of two extravagant lobbies and head up the elevator, and you'll find this sophisticated eight hundred square foot condo feature. Yeah, one bedroom, one and a half bath. I have a one bed. I have two bedrooms, a one and a half bath condo that I uh, got for seventy three. Okay, certainly, I, I, and where, where I'm at now, five hundred thousand dollars. Obviously, we're talking a little bit more luxury here. Featuring luxurious Italian cabinetry, earthy tones, and a spacious open floor layout. The kitchen blends right in with the rest of the building. Stainless steel. You've got a uh, looks like a. Over the top, over the top, uh, over the stove, uh, my, uh, microwave oven, uh, nice countertop. Uh, that looks like a uh, yeah, okay. With its modern, sleek appliances like this wall oven and built-in stovetop, step into the living area and you'll find the highlight of the property: a balcony with magnificent views of the bay and the brickle buildings that surround it. Now we're talking. This is this is something I could I could I could I could live in. I I, I don't know that I'd ever care care to live in in Brooklyn, uh, especially because of the weather down here, down in Florida. Down in uh, Miami, that would be a little bit better. The glass balustrade opens up the space and gives you the width necessary for seating and entertainment. A perfect place to show guests your million-dollar view. But if you're craving for the West Coast, where... No, I'm not craving for the West Coast by any stretch of the imagination. But looking at that uh, for Miami, uh, that would be a, uh, that, would, that would be a heck of a place to live. That, that would be very, very nice to live down there. The sun settles in its final location. We can hop on a long flight across the country to the city of Angels, L.A. Here, real estate costs are sky high. Yeah, I mean, my cousin has a uh, condo. Uh, I think he paid... 323 324 325 around there uh for a condo which isn't much bigger than mine like i said i paid 73 he paid 300 uh back in 2007 2006 2007 now his is worth i think probably the six or seven hundred thousand dollar range and he ain't living in a mansion by any stretch of the imagination and 500,000 may not get exactly what you're hoping for. Situated in one of the most infamous neighborhoods in LA, this small 1,200 square foot Spanish style home with three bedrooms and one bathroom will set you back right around that mark. Although the neighborhood known as South Central LA South Central has had a bad reputation. Yeah, you look, you, if you're going to be moved to Los Angeles and you have $500,000, okay, now obviously you're going to have to take out a mortgage and and all that good stuff. We all know that. But, um, yeah. yeah he, he, now, my cousin lives to the uh, west of that in Culver City. If you're looking at this map, Culver City is to the west of there. Uh, Santa Monica is farther to the west. I mean, you're probably, you're, you're not going to get a whole lot out of $500,000 in Los Angeles. Known for its gang violence and criminal activity, since 2008, the area has been a prime target for gentrification amid rising real estate costs. In the back, you'll even get a nice and spacious backyard along with a detached two-car garage. Sure, it may not be as inviting as your Brickell condo, but at least you'll have your very own private retreat. In but you won't be living in the best part of the city either. Inside, you'll find updated flooring and three reasonably sized bedrooms with what looks to be a fresh new carpet, trim, and paint. The to be fair, it doesn't look bad. Okay, I, I, I can't, I'm, you know, as, even though I talk bad about Los Angeles or talk about living out there, because um, it's not my favorite, I don't mind visiting. The people are very, very friendly in California. I'll, I'll say that. I have enjoyed my trips out there, but it's just not a place that I would ever want to live. But looking at, at this, this isn't too terribly bad. The master bedroom suite shows off the house's warm and inviting tone with an updated space that has been freshly remodeled. The kitchen, although slightly lacking in design, looks to be upgraded and brand new, and it opens up to a living room with a rare vaulted ceiling. This may not be the luxury you were looking for, but it's your very own home, located just seven miles from the city center in one of the most expensive real estate markets on the planet. But and really, when you look at that, that doesn't look too terrible, okay? 
Hey, I realize it's South Central. I realize South Central has a has a reputation, but that doesn't look too terribly bad for five hundred. Would I want to? Again, it comes down to this. It comes down to personal preference. You may be, you're different from me. Okay, I'm not you. You're not me. But uh, I don't know that I would want to live in South Central Los Angeles. Maybe you don't care too much about location, and you're looking for pure value. Las Vegas. Okay, now Las Vegas. Uh, uh, the people I talk to from Las Vegas really, really like it. Now, I don't know how, how well, uh, what the prices are in Vegas. Let's find out. Escaping the high prices of California, we head about four hours east to Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here in the suburbs, miles from the infamous Strip, you will find some of the best real estate deals on the planet. Fresh new homes selling for unbelievable prices. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been, my, my uncle used to live out there before he passed away, God rest his soul. And uh, driving around in some of the suburbs in Las Vegas were really, really nice. This 2,600-square-foot villa features three luxurious bedrooms with deluxe windows letting in. I mean, look at the size of what you got out in Los Angeles and the size of that right there. Now, size isn't everything, uh, but this is, is it would be pretty, pretty nice. would be pretty nice. That's the other thing you see about um, my, my, when I was out in Arizona. You don't see a lot of grass uh, or, or lawns that you have to mow out there. Uh, in natural light throughout. Sure, it may be on the outskirts of town, but this fresh development is just a 15-minute car ride from the city center and airport. Entering the bedroom, you can get a sense of the difference in quality here as opposed to L.A. Each room comes equipped with upscale features, showing off these stunning new designs. A massive island opens up the modern kitchen with 36-inch double-stack cabinets, allowing you to take this space to a new level. You've got a French door refrigerator, stainless steel, uh, <coughs> bar, excuse me, marble counters. That's why I have, how I call it. Um, you have looks like a gas stove over the range over the uh, stove uh, microwave oven, all stainless steel. That looks very very nice. Level. The open design gives the entire home an elegant feel, and looking to the backyard reveals a massive pool, so you can cool off during those hot desert days. Yeah, that looks very, very nice. Um, uh, for five, I mean, if you if you really love California, uh, living in Las Vegas on five, if you have five hundred thousand dollars to spend on real estate and you bought this, it's like I said, it's only uh, four hours to the west, and uh, uh, that's that's not too bad. This sprawling development with over 9,000 homes is evidence of just how much growth the city has seen over the past few years. Californians trading small ranches for massive luxury villas is a trend that will likely continue, and desert developers are printing money by providing value to those who are used to West Coast prices. If living in the desert next to a city known for sin isn't exactly what you dream, maybe this city built on a marsh and a swamp is. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Now, I drove through Houston one time when I was going down to South Padre Island. Had no idea how big Houston really was. And Houston was huge and massive. One of the good things about Texas is there's no state income tax. Texas, America's fourth largest city. With more than 2.2 million residents, Houston attracts visitors and transplants with a wonderful mix of world-class arts, booming business, pro sports, and award-winning cuisine. Here you'll find extremely affordable real estate without the desert climate and likely some of the most stunning homes you can buy with half a million. This brand new build by Weston called the Albany contains four bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and an attached two-car garage. When you walk in, your eyes immediately gravitate towards the high ceilings and a spacious dining room with massive windows that illuminate the area with natural light. Keep walking and the room opens up into what can only be described as a deluxe family room with over eight windows that will immerse you with the outdoors and a massive extra high ceiling that gives you a sense of grandeur and spaciousness. Behind it, you'll find the striking kitchen, complete with its very own massive island and sleek white cabinets that... French door refrigerator, double door uh, oven, uh, gas range, all stainless steel, the, it's white. Um, very, yeah, this, 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 you'd be living large in, in, in Houston under this. This would be very, very nice. You would normally find in multi-million dollar homes. From here, the house completely opens up, and between the built-in double wall ovens and the extra large sub-zero fridge, the entire house wraps around you in a layout that is truly spectacular. A brief walk up the winding stairs reveals the bedrooms. Every room in the house is a spectacular showcase of modern design. 
Each bedroom comes complete with its own ensuite bathroom featuring stylish layouts and modern features. From the east coast to the west coast, from the desert to the swamp, we have seen a wide selection of markets in the United States. In the surging 2021 real estate market, you may be surprised to see how little 500000 can buy you throughout the United States. In markets like Houston and Vegas, luxury can still be bought, but in any of the big coastal cities, half a million is nothing spectacular. And this is what I said earlier in the video. I said, look, you, if you're going up the west coast or you're going up the eastern seaboard or New York City, you're not going to get a whole lot for $500,000. I mean, when they showed New York City, uh, you can't even get a place in Manhattan, and you have to go to Brooklyn. Not, I can, not that, that, that Brooklyn is terrible, but going to Brooklyn, you, you know, it, yeah, it, it looks like a very nice condo, but it's not in the city. Uh, then you move over to uh, Miami, you get a heck of a lot more. I mean, compare what you get in New York City to what you get in Miami. Then you go to the West Coast, and you look at what you get out in Los Angeles for $500,000. Yes, you get your own home, but it's in South Central L.A., which isn't necessarily the nicest part of the uh, of, of Los Angeles. And it really isn't that big compared to what you get in Los Angeles to what you get in Vegas and what you get in Houston. It should tell you something. But, uh, again, that is that is what it is. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no expert on these things, but uh, it is, this, was, this was interesting. What is... 500,000 gets you in the United States. This is 2021, but uh, that's interesting. You know, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please click like, share, and subscribe, and uh, have a good rest of your day. Thank you.